Endometriosis is a disease where tissue that's only supposed to grow inside the uterus grows outside of the uterus. And when tissue grows where it's not supposed to, the body doesn't like that, and it essentially tries to destroy it. And it's that process of trying to destroy that tissue that causes problems. It can cause scarring. The inflammation that is involved in that destruction process can cause pain and can also be a cause of infertility. Uh, endometriosis is a leading cause of infertility, and endometriosis affects around 5 million people. So it's a fairly common problem. Um, the most th common thing that I've seen that uh, uh, is consistent amongst women is they will have pain, uh, pelvic pain, but it's not just pain when they're having a period, it's pain that extends beyond the period uh, of their menstruation. So initially they might have very painful periods, but then they'll begin to have pain before their period starts and that will become progressive. So I think the key thing is it's a progressive process. Um, they can have pain with intercourse. They can also have uh, intestinal symptoms, um, diarrhea, pain with bowel movements. Um, but the most common uh, thing is pelvic pain. However, many, many women do not have any symptoms. To confirm a diagnosis of endometriosis, uh, first of all, there isn't any simple blood test or definitive uh, imaging study that can be done to diagnosis. Um, sometimes you can do a pelvic ultrasound and you'll see evidence of a cyst in the ovary that looks like endometriosis in the ovary and that can lead you more quickly to an evaluation. But many times it can only be diagnosed by doing a procedure called a diagnostic laparoscopy and that's where we basically look inside the abdomen with a small camera to see if we can find the endometriosis there. A woman with endometriosis definitely can get pregnant. Um, a lot of uh, how we decide how bad the problem is and how difficult it will be to get pregnant depends on what we find when we do uh, a diagnostic laparoscopy. So we look in and we have a staging process where we decide how severe is the endometriosis at that point in time. And based on the stage, we can then give a prognosis of what the chance of getting pregnant is. Typically at the time of that surgery, we will try to remove or destroy the, uh, the endometriosis and any scar tissue that has happened because of the endometriosis. And so the stage at which we find the disease and then how successful we are at removing it will determine how long the person will be free from pain and uh, what their prognosis will be for getting pregnant. One of the big things that we deal with is this issue of the biological clock. It's a big issue for us. And there are many reasons why a person's biological clock will be uh, running down, so to speak. Endometriosis is one of those. Uh, endometriosis can grow inside the ovary, and when it does, it can destroy eggs. Basically, when we're talking about the biological clock, we're talking about running out of eggs. And if the endometriosis is destroying the eggs in the ovary, then that can be a big problem for us. Other than surgery, there are treatments for endometriosis. A lot of it depends on how severe the disease is based on what we find when we do the diagnostic laparoscopy. If the disease is minimal, then we can usually get by with a treatment called superovulation and insemination. That's where we give medications in order to produce more than one egg and then at the same time do an insemination. And that treatment uh, usually is done anywhere from three to six times. Um, if it is going to succeed, it will succeed in that interval. If that is not successful or the extent of the disease is very advanced, severe endometriosis, then we would go to in vitro fertilization. That's where we basically are going to take the egg out of the woman, fertilize it in a dish, and put it back in the person. And the good news is that in vitro fertilization is very effective in treating endometriosis essentially because we are taking the uh, egg and sperm out of this environment that has the endometriosis, creating the embryo in the dish, and then putting it into the uterus away from any scarring problems or endometriosis factors. And so endometriosis is uh, overcome very well by in vitro fertilization.